Hello, welcome to Artmat, and today I'm going to show you how to stretch a canvas like a pro. Alright, so I already have a stretch canvas here, and this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Alright, so let's get to it. So here I have a piece of linen, but you can use canvas, cotton canvas. I prefer linen because the paint sits on it better. But I'll do a video on the types of grounds that are best for oil painting later. Here, whatever you're using, as long as it's primed, it's fine. So here I have my stretcher. And basically what you're going to want to do first is just file down the corners here so that your canvas doesn't break through later. And this is a tip that I learned from someone that does art restoration because she said that she was always having to patch up the corners in paintings because the artist wouldn't sand down the stretchers. Okay, so this is the front of the canvas. It's going to be curved. This is the back going to be flat. So when stretching a canvas the most important thing to note is making sure that you get enough of the support to fold around your painting because there's nothing worse than having a corner that's not long enough and then you're having to put staples on the edges and then that just looks unprofessional and it can make your painting warp in the long term. It's important that you take care of these structural things in the beginning. So when cutting the support I like to measure the side of the painting and this is half inch and then I will do three times that size on each edge so if this is half inch I will do one and a half inch on each side and sometimes even before I cut the canvas to size I will lay my stretcher on top of it and I will do kind of like a test fold just to see that everything measures up and that everything is neat and that I'm able to get every corner correct you also don't want to cut it too long is because for example I cut it even longer like this you're gonna have to roll it and fold it so that your plier can get that nice pull and get the canvas tight anyway. So there really is no point in folding your canvas or cutting it really big. So just make sure that you have enough to go over the stretcher on all sides and enough for the staples. So the next thing you want to check is that the weave of the canvas is geometrically aligned with your stretcher. Because if the weave of the canvas is going like this, and your canvas is going like this and you fold it over first of all you are going to see on the front side of the canvas that the weave is not aligned but also as the canvas dries it can warp your painting so this is really really an important part is to line up your painting with the weave of the canvas when I'm stretching a canvas I always like to use pliers and a staple gun just because I want my canvases to have that really tight drum like professional look and it's just very hard to get just by using your hands. Step one, I align the canvas. I usually don't like to start like this. I like to start on the horizontal side and the first staple I will put in without using the pliers just to secure the alignment. From then on, I will start using the pliers. And you want to pull, but not too much, because you don't want to have too much tension on the, on the staple. A big mistake that I see a lot of students making is going all the way across here, and all the way across here, and then doing this side. Don't do that, that's completely wrong, because what that's gonna do is you see all these lines of tension that are made basically you want to avoid that so you want to put in two staples here and then fix that tension by putting staples on the other side basically what you should be doing is putting staples across from each other one here one here one here one here so next i'm going to this side and i'm making sure that the canvas is nice and tight It's much easier to stretch a canvas well than to try to fix the wrinkles later on and it'll just make a better surface for you to paint on if it's nice and tight so we basically put in most of the staples in the back 
and look at how nice and tight the front of the canvas is. There is no wrinkling. All the corners are nicely pulled in. There is no kind of rippling here or here. And you get very nice drum-like tension and that is the surface that you want to paint on. Okay, so now let's do the corners. So when doing the corner folds on the canvas, I like to do them both on the same side because paintings are meant to be displayed. They're not meant to collect dust in your studio. Okay, besides that, when your painting is hanging on a wall, you want these really nice edges. You want that same look on this side and on this side. This is what your gallerist is looking for. And I know a lot of people hate when you bring up art sales, but how terrible would it be if your paintings are not selling for as much because you folded the corners wrong? So let's take care of that now and let's stretch the canvas correctly. So how do you decide which corner to fold and which one to leave blank? So for example, if we're doing a landscape painting, then I would fold the corners this way. Because as it's hanging on the wall, you're gonna get a nice clean edge here. And I would fold them both on both sides because you don't want to have all one, two, three corners folded the same and then this one peeking out. You don't want that. And if this painting is going to be hanging portrait format, then I would fold the corners over like this. So as it hangs this way, the edge is going to be nice and neat. So let's do this one landscape. So this being a landscape format painting, and with the shorter side being the exposed side, I will take my staples pretty far to the edge on both sides. And I will leave the portrait side stapled, but I will leave again three canvas widths. So the same as this length on the edge because what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck the canvas into it so because I'm working with a primed canvas I like to crease my canvas corners first so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of make a square and first you are gonna fold this part over you're gonna tuck that in and you're basically making a little square with holding that with your hand and you use one finger to tuck in that edge and then you bring the other one over and I like to make sure that there's no canvas fold peeking through so if you do get a little bit you can just pull on the corner here and tuck it in and I just pull and staple and look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and do that for the other three corners. And if you get any of these little bumps here, what you can do is take your plier and just create a little bit more tension. Make sure that you don't pull out the corner staple, but you can secure the edge Just like that. In the end, if you get a couple staples kind of popping up like that, you can just take a hammer and touch them up. All right, I'm back. So this is what a canvas should look like. The edges are all the same. Look at this nice fold. Same on this side. You have very good tension. It's drum-like. And the canvas symmetry is very nice. All the corners are very stable. There's no looseness at the edges. You have a very nice geometrical fold. And this is going to look great hanging on the wall.